Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be talking about the two types of fats that we humans possess and how we can manipulate these fats naturally through the use of cold exposure and a healthy diet. So, we all have brown and white fat also referred to as good and bad fat. White acts as the largest energy storage in the body. This is where excess food and calories are gonna be stored. When you think of the typical North American diet, think of white fat. Foods like hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, are all foods that'll easily be converted into white fat. Brown fat, on the other hand, gets its color from the large amount of mitochondria it possesses. These act like power generators by burning calories and warming up your body. Now let's take a look at three vastly different subjects that contain brown adipose tissue. Whales, babies, and Wim Hof. Everyone knows whales' bodies are composed of vast amounts of blubber, but did you know blubber is made up of brown fat? And this is what allows them to thermoregulate in the cold ocean water? Whales as well as other animals that live in cold environments rely upon brown fat to heat their bodies. Yes, that includes cute baby walruses, but something strange is human babies also possess a decent amount of this brown adipose tissue. They need it to protect themselves from the cold since they lack the proper protective suit that adults have grown into. But as we grow older, much like breathing from our stomachs, we tend to lose this ability to produce brown fat. This natural ability that we are born with to protect ourselves from cold temperatures. Wim Hof has an incredibly interesting philosophy related to this topic, which I'll be jumping into in next week's video. An exciting fact that has only recently been discovered by people like Wim is that cold exposure can train your body to convert white fat into fuel via brown fat. This was previously believed to be impossible. And this now means that by taking a cold shower or an ice bath or just exposing yourself in any way to the cold can actually help you lose weight, as well as contribute to an abundance of other health benefits. As more and more studies continue to come out, we've learned of other natural ways to increase brown fat. These include vigorous exercise, I'm hot, I'm big, and select foods such as seeds, nuts, beans, spicy peppers like cayenne, Tabasco, and green and red chili. It seems that when you're exposed to extreme temperatures, whether it be cold exposure or hot spices that contain capsaicin, there is potential for transforming negative excess fat into heat supplying brown fat. So, in conclusion, white fat is bad. Avoid cheeseburgers and other junk that will clog your arteries. Brown fat is good and can be activated by the cold, exercise, and certain natural foods. The lower the temperature, the more brown fat will play a role in trying to regulate your body temperature. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications.